New at five, we're getting an inside look into something more police departments are doing. It's accreditation, actually. Fewer than half of all law enforcement agencies in Florida are accredited. It means standards have been reviewed and approved. UCF's police department is, and for the first time ever, going for an additional important accreditation only for colleges. New 60's Eric Von Aiken spent the day with UCF's accreditation manager to see how the process is getting results together. The BOLA, a less lethal weapon that wraps around a suspect's legs, is just one of several. And we go through each one, the baton, the um, CEW, the taser. That UCF police are trained to use based on a detailed written policy. Almost all of what the UCF Police Department does is documented. Because you want to have these records when it's time and it's needed. You know, if you have to show to the public that, hey, we are training our people properly. Cynthia Pugsley is the PD's accreditation manager. She applies and reapplies for accreditation, meaning an independent Florida commission reviews the department's documentation and policies and training to make sure they're up to the highest standards. Making sure that the agency is being transparent to the public, um, doing the training that needs to be done, following the state and federal laws. And new this year, Pugsley's also applying for a college-specific accreditation by the International Association of Campus Law Enforcement Administrators, IACLEA for short. That we're doing everything we can as best as our ability and correctly. Um, specific to taking care of students. Yes. Living on here the, on, on the camp campus. Yes, exactly. The IACLEA accreditation requires that colleges conform to two federal laws. The Clary Act, named for a student raped and murdered in her dorm in 1986, which requires the school to report a crime and crime warnings to students and the public. The other federal law is called Title IX, which prohibits sex discrimination in education. So the university created a Title IX response team and a Title IX coordinator. Did we have any additional new users? That Pugsley is currently doing her own review of the department. Before the IACLEA accreditors do their review and approve, she hopes and expects. This all seems to me to be very, very thorough. Yes, and that's, that's the goal, is to show as much detail as we can. And as you might expect, accreditation and reaccreditation costs money. The IACLEA annual fee it's $3,000. On top of that, you need to hire an accreditation coordinator like Cynthia Pugsley. And on top of that, you got to pay for things like updating training or policies or manuals. But the PD tells me they don't look at it as just spending money. They look at it as investing into their campus. At UCF, Eric Von Eichen getting results together. News 6.